Hey, hello viewers. You're watching Bipolar Opposites. I'm your guy, Tim Cubbin. Today, I am going to be talking to you about the anatomy of a breakdown. Alright, some of you go back to season two may know that I was, I've been hospitalized before for a bipolar disorder. And I might have mentioned part of this in previous episodes and previous seasons, but I think it's time the full story come out. Okay, so it was September 3rd, 2002. I remember that day very clearly. It was the day before I was supposed to start high school. I was excited and all buzzed up. Now, some of you may remember that I was diagnosed with ADD, which actually I do not have. So I've been on stimulants like Ritalin and all kinds of stuff like that, Depakote, all the weird drugs. I don't know if they're all for, for AD or whatever. So, also another thing that some of you remember is that I'm monophobic. I'm afraid of being alone. So it was summer, my mom's a bookkeeper, she was very busy out of the house a lot. So, I was home alone the whole time with nothing but a cat and a dog. And the cat, Jasmine, just Hated me. That cat hated me. Now, how I tried, she hated me. I guess because it was first, the day she first came, I pulled her tail on this. That's that uh, permanent first impression. Well, so finally one day I got so bored being alone. There was this new game show, I guess, on Game Show Network called Lingo, which interested me. I was really excited watching it. And so I heard quite clearly that the episode I was on that day was already aired before. So, I got bored there. And so, so my mom was busy working, I had to go the way to get her home home early. Now what did I do? I said, I'm putting Jasmine the cat in the box and th in the box and throwing it off a bridge. I mean this? No. Did I put it in the box though? Yes. And I sealed it up. Did I throw it in the river? No. Did not throw off the overhang. Just brought it outside and watched. And the box wriggled. Now mine is a Kiwi City box, which still had packing peanuts in them. When they allowed those not big bubble things now. So I sealed the box, I brought it outside, I walked around it trying to look like I was trying to do a magic act. Now was I thinking anything about it was gonna happen? No. So I walked around, no one drive by said anything, I just had the boxes walking around and playing with. And... So, after a while, the box stopped moving. At first I didn't realize what this meant. So, I got down, I opened up the box. There were packing pants and shreds and... There was some vomit and a dead cat. She swallowed the packing pin at one point, tried to regurgitate it. Didn't work. Just got less and less air and she died. All because of me. Because I was bored. Did I think this happened? No. I was only supposed to get mom home early, but nope, it went it went wrong in all possible levels. Now, right afterwards, I was I was dazed and confused. I just I was back to I mean they put me in a police car and I tried to resuscitate her, but couldn't they couldn't resuscitate her. She was dead as a doornail. As I said in Scrooge. So after a while they put me in an ambulance and brought me to a hospital. Now I had two trains of thought going on. The first was grief and remorse. I just... I mean what did I just do? What did I just do? And the... Oh! I got high school started tomorrow. The two of them clashed at each other. And they brought me to a hospital. A mental hospital. And they admitted me. I was 
with my little friend at the one point during the whole incident where I was just a complete mess and I just needed sleep and I just fell asleep on him. My uncle didn't mind. I know I've talked to my uncle several times before. He was, he was there. And I wanted to go to school so badly. I mean, it was high school. A whole new stage of my life. It's so cool, so exciting. It would be great. And now, I'm missing high school because I'm locked up. So, I was hospitalized for 27 days. In a hospital. They first started putting me in the... In the Adolescent unit. I, mean, I was 14 years old at the time, but they couldn't keep me there to put me in the eating disorder unit. But that doesn't really matter. Point is, when that day on my life, nothing was ever the same again. I mean, there's not a day that goes by. It. Every hour, at some point during that hour, it cursed to me just what happened. I'm disgusted with myself. I hate myself. I can't believe I did that. And it's Brains on my soul so bad. It just, I mean, I, I didn't mean for it to happen. I feel really, really bad, as you can see. <sighs> but my life changed completely after that. And that was what I was saying. They diagnosed me as being bipolar, and they put me on a ton of new medications. Medications didn't always agree with me at first. I mean, my old freshman year of high school, I was in the nurse's office pretty much every damn day. Just completely out of it, just sick to my stomach as well as medication. I had to stay there. Now, fortunately, I was good now that I got my schoolwork done without the teacher, and that was good, but. So, yeah, there you have it. Me being brutally honest, I hope that you all can find your hearts to forgive me for this completely. Oral act that I did under insanity. Just please, please understand. That's all I ask. My bible will be back tomorrow. So be there. Send him coming. Out.